Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Long Night, Episode 1. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for a spooky adventure. Does this interconnect back to the previous path? There's a hiding spot behind us. Yes, the paths interconnect. That's what I thought. So let's go along the far one, then we'll go along the middle one, and then we'll see if there's a close one. Close being a relative term. Wolf path. It always seems to zoom in, so... 303. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a save game. Cool. Alright, so we can save. I'm not just going to go into Dewey's place like that without a good reason. You're being chased by a ghost and you say you don't have a good reason? Dude, you got issues. Like, seriously. You got issues. Oh, the controls are weird based on the camera angle. Very Resident Evil. I've been living in the U.S. for a few years now. It's the most powerful and influential country in the world. Somewhere in the shadows, I wait desperately for its downfall, without really being able to spot the warning signs. I was born Yuri Medvedkov, but for six years now, people called me Max Williamson. I left Mother Russia after the predicted fall of the communist regime that was so dear to my DNA. The world was relieved by this news, both by the end of the Cold War and the start of the Union, to work towards the common good. I remember December 25th, when Gorbachev abandoned a power that no longer meant anything. I felt tears run down my face. I wasn't angry or even sad. I was simply afraid. Okay, I'll take the diary. Can I not look at the creepy well with the thing coming out of it? 304, yeah, that makes sense. The control scheme of this is a little strange. I've never seen anyone go in or out of the chalet, but at night there's always light in the windows and sometimes you can even hear music. Old music, like classical stuff. Wait, Dewey was the kid, so yeah, that explains that he doesn't want to traumatize the kid with the ghost that's chasing him. I guess that makes sense. Voter ID card. What all am I... What is all this stuff for, man? Lonesome Lake. Whoop, doop, doop. So there's a, there's a hidey hole behind us if we need it. Oh, this place is dark. Yeah, let's light our lighter, dude. With our lighter out, we go a lot slower. That sucks. Okay, I hope you guys can see well enough. If not, I'll brighten it a little in post, because I can actually see well since I turned the brightness up. So I don't really need the lighter. I'm sure there's going to be parts where we're still going to need it, because it's going to be freaking dark. Now I understand why the camera angles are the way they are, because it's uh, we're going to be chased a lot. Unlock the door. Would well, yes, if we can unlock it, hell yeah. Okay, wait, so what do we have so far? We have David's inhaler, a lighter, People magazine. Okay, there's nothing else to. Loyalty Big Splash card. The diary and the voting card for a Max Williams. Oh, so it's the uh, Russian guy's voting card. Okay, okay. So I can't even go to inventory, options, or documents unless I hit the enter key first, which is weird, because it opens things up. And obviously our mental state is anguished. Um, I don't want to use the inhaler unless we have to. So I'm assuming that's going to be, like, super important or something. Nope, not that. Save. Alright, so let's save over that slot. Snake path. I do still want to poke around so we can, there's nothing for me to do by the lake at the moment. Okay, that's very definitive. So when the eye closes, you've at least investigated it. That's actually really handy. So we got a path here, we got a path over here. Wait, what's this one? The wolf path, the toad path. Let's take the wolf path, because we kind of veered off of that one to go to the snake path. Because I want to try to go down each one of these paths and investigate everything we can. Holy! Not that way, lady! Jeez! Okay, she slows down, so we do have a chance to get our breath. That's actually really handy. Breathe, dude. Breathe. Breathe! Okay, so in theory, if I go back there, she won't be there again, because she randomly spawns. So let's try again, because I gotta go down that path. Sheesh! She just pops up out of nowhere, that is creepy! The whole naked seducing just... Ah, it's disturbing. I do not want to be seduced by a ghost. That is disturbing. That is so disturbing. So this should be house number four. If this is indeed one of the houses. 
What's the cast doing in my house? Impossible. It looks like my, like my deceased cat. Can't be real. I think I'm gonna lose control. I need to find something to calm me down. And what's that gonna be, buddy? I can't look at the thing on the ground? I was gonna say. Very big fish is coming to gobble him up. Are you running so you don't get caught? Make no mistake. Becoming the hero isn't the key. Pick up the note? Yes. This is the cabin I'm supposed to go to. So let's come back here last. Uh, I think the cat's still in the way, but let's come back here last. I want to get a chance to poke around things first. The gathering circle. That sounds ominous. Yep, that's that's ominous. That's ominous. We'll have to investigate that later. We're a little busy right now. Uh, hi. I'm gonna go this way. I went the wrong way. I went the. I. Shit. The hidey hole was the other direction, and we wouldn't have run out of stamina if I'd gone that way. Damn it. Well, it auto loads our save games. That's something. She should be right here because we're going to trigger her again. Right? Yep! Okay, so so far she seems to spawn in certain locations. Get to the door, man! Get to the door! Alright, so she know we know she's gonna be way down the wolf path, but we gotta go retrigger the, the cat and everything. And this time we know to go left to the hidey hole. Holy crap. It's interesting because I'm trying to figure out what's going on and what the overall, you know, what what the more the clues and the shit that's going on in the world. And she just pops out of nowhere to fuck with you. Yes, we will. Yeah, the creepy cat guarding the house. Um, nope, stop. Oh, trying to get on something that you've walked right past is very tricky. 203. So there's only three houses here where there were four in the last one. And the path goes further up still, but I think that's going to interconnect to the other path. Might as well trigger her in the gathering place. Nope, time to go, time to go. Stop and get our breath. Okay, now go. Okay, we're safe. Sheesh! That is not okay, you creepy ghost thing. Oh, I hope this, this thing is still on production for episode two, because so far I'm really liking this. This is very interesting. The snake path. I like that it closes the eye so you know if you've investigated something. That's actually really handy. A lot of games don't do that. They have no way for you of knowing whether or not you've looked at something already. Okay, we got that. Is there anything I can interact with here? No. Okay, anything on the table? Nope. What about over here? Nope. What the hell is this thing over here? Yep, yeah, doesn't matter. It's not important. I think it's just a stump to sit on, honestly. Alright, let's investigate the, the bonfire. This is the gathering circle. Where we have our neighborhood barbecue every year. I don't think I'll ever forget the steaks da Dana... Dana... I don't think we'll ever forget the steaks Dana's dad makes. Yeah. You know. Oh wait, is that not the way out? Oh, it was down here. Okay. Got a little turned around. So she spawns at certain spots along the path. I think that's where we actually went down in the first place, wasn't it? No, because we haven't investigated these. 202. What the... Machine Titan. Titan and Machine. Mr. Chilton's two horrible beasts. I hope they've also disappeared and aren't roaming freely around the camp. Great. The guy who lives here is a real nutcase. I've seen him beat his wolfhounds regularly, and he doesn't hold back. Some people shouldn't be allowed to have pets. That also means his wolfhounds are really, really aggressive. Pick up the ID card? Sure. Let's just pill for everything that's in the area. That doesn't seem like something that could get us into trouble. So this goes between probably the other path. Okay, stop sprinting, stop sprinting, stop sprinting. Breathe. I wonder if once we trigger all of them, if she will spawn at an old one, or if she'll stop spawning. Because I don't know how the mechanics on this work. Oh wait, I should probably go look at that just so we know we've looked at it, even though it's just the sign. Just for the sake of completeness. Sheesh. 
Lady, I just want to poke around. And there was a hiding spot right there. Really? Well, crap. 201. And what is this? Toad path. So that leads to the final path that we saw. There's the hidey hole. Oh, it's weird when the controls are inverted. Because uh, WASD are a definitive direction each time. The problem is, is depending on the angle of the camera, it changes. But is it the angle? Yeah, it is the angle of the camera. So that can get really jarring if you're not aware of where you're supposed to be running or how. Wait, can I go over here to the front of the house? Oh, okay, there we go. Mr. Griezmann has been visiting my parents for years now, but he's never invited us to his place. Okay, so there's a hidey hole straight behind us. I'm gonna head all the way to the lake, then go to the toad path and come back. Obviously, we're on the wolf path. We're the house at the very, very end. Sheesh. Certainly keeps you on edge. I'll give it that. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, that's our place. It's another side path that I'm guessing... We, wait, oh, this goes to the lake, right? No, no, look, look, look at it, man. Look at, look at it. There you go. Want some lake. Yeah. At the very least, I want to mark it so we know we finished it. Yeah, having your light out sucks. I don't know why that slows you down so much. That's a little ridiculous. Oh, I don't... I, okay, no, we wouldn't have... We would have run into her at the very end of the path, so we should be fine now. I hope. We already got the thing off the... Uh, yeah, it was the magazine, right? I think the magazine was the one that was here. So we just... You know what? I'm going to go save the game, because we've accomplished a few things since the last save. And I don't want us to just die and have to do all that crap all over again. That would suck. All right. So we do want to save intermittently. Because we can die. And that kind of sucks. I'm just waiting to run into her again. Just waiting. Okay. Who lives here? This is Mr. Volker's house, the painter. I need to remember to ask him to make another painting for my bedroom. You think of that now while a ghost is chasing you? Really? 102. So there's only two on the possum path? I think is what it said it was. Although that looked like a turtle. Wait, can I go over there? Okay, no. I thought maybe I could go over and investigate that. Oh, toad path. That's right. Poor Kermit. Still no princess to give you a kiss. I, okay. Monday, August 16, 1998. The voice of the camp. Open letter to the group who rules Long Night. I am writing to address you, the D4 group. We have been putting up with your arrogance for several years now. You are no doubt wondering who we are, and that it's absolutely understandable. Given your own self-centeredness, in your eyes we may be invisible, but we do very much exist. We are the other use of this camp. Those who no longer want to have to wait for you to be done so we can use the game area. Those of us who are uniting today to say to you, you are not the only young people in this camp. Furthermore, you are not the stars you seem to think you are. Even if Dean with his big arms is part of your group, even if Dana the Tease does have half the camp drooling after her, you are not untouchable. Our names may not begin with the letter D, but we still have the right to live alongside you. Pick up a letter? Yeah. Oh wait, no, we can turn the pages. Wait, can I turn the pages on the other documents? This is why today it's about time you wake up to the existence of those who live outside your little world. We do not have to look up to you. We are your equals and we've had enough. We have the right to be recognized and respected by you. You never know. Maybe if you got to know us, we could even end up as friends. If, however, you decide not to take us into consideration, we give you fair warning that we will be taking the appropriate measures to show you we cannot be ignored. On this, I leave you in the hope that we will be able to see reason. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. So you take care of yourselves, and you want to see more of me, queue up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.